Peace everyone, welcome to another episode of JL Jupiter TV. And today I'm in Oakland. I'm gonna hit up Horn Barbecue. And I got a special friend coming through too. Stay tuned. Hey, are your foods? It's Craig and Shaking oh, and Baking, y'all. What up? Welcome to the Bay Baby. <laughs> Starstruck right now, man. I mean, the fan, man. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> All right, so you know, I'm gonna be on Bay Area Foods. Make sure you tap in on his YouTube channel. I'm mic'd up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and play my role. We what you still waiting for Matt? I don't know if Matt's gonna be here or not, but we still gonna shoot, eat some good barbecue food. So stay tuned and uh, subscribe. I ain't gonna lie, I saw him cut that brisket, that brisket had a nice jiggle to it, nice crust to it. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like today's the day. I'm gonna get my soul touched. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've been I've been dreaming of some good food, some barbecue. Fresh out the bag. Fresh out the plastic. <laughs> the jiggly, the jiggly beats, folks. Popped it open for me, man. <laughs> Just can't taste it. It looks amazing, but when you taste it, you want to eat a little slowly, savor that because it's going to be delicious. Yeah, this this is everything that um, I've seen on YouTube and on Google reviews. The presentation, 10 out of 10. The customer service, 10 out of 10. Um, I didn't even meet the owner yet. Owner said he's going to be here, but I'm excited. Um, Let's eat. We finna get this good content in, y'all. Was cranking, shaking, and baking, man. JN was in the bay. We at Matt Horns, Oakland, California. We out here, baby. JN, what you got? Man, I don't. I got a, a piece of heaven on a, a, a plate here, man. Okay. Um, yo, shout out to Matt Horn and, and the Matt. whole squad for. Uh, <laughs> Hey, look at this mac and cheese. I got the burnt ends. I'm speechless, bro. They putting on for Oakland. Yeah, come on. Let's, are we digging in now? It's time right, to dig let's in. Do it. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Mm, make it taste no evidence. If y'all don't know, out, man. Hey, I'm going to start off with the ribs, man. Very the ribs. Go. Hold on. Let me say something. Before before we get started, man, I want y'all, everybody do me a favor. Go follow Bay Area Foods. I got everything in the description. Follow them. Dope, person dope personality. Great charisma. One of the dopest people on IG too, man. Good dude, good That's hearted. Enough, man. I ain't all that. That's For real. I'm not. I'm just a regular person, man. He's like, regular. He's regular but, like but me, but so he definitely much, needs the, the shine that that, that I see in him. You know what I mean? So I was inspired by you on many of occasions um, before I'm like in the process of my journey. Somehow I came across you. And uh, it gave me a lot of inspiration to keep going. So I just want to say thank you for even blessing me with the opportunity to to, to go crazy with you one time, man. Let's go ahead and, ch and chow down. Let's do it, bro. Let's do it, man. What you got first? The ribs. I'm going off with the ribs. Do the ribs, man. It's a sucking. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> dig in. You got to dig right, in. Man, let's do it. I'm Don't out. even wait. Catch up. Catch up. Because it's oh. The peppers. Yes. Is it falling off? God. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Look at oh! oh my God. You can't even pick it up. You can't even that. pick it up. I can't even pick it up. I cannot. You can't even pick it up. Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That, mm. I think that's been there for like 18 hours. That, no. that did a whole bid in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> it did a whole bid on the grill, man. <laughs> it did a whole bid on the grill. Look. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Wee. Hold on. Y'all got to mm. get up and look at it. Look. 
Look at the seasonings on him. Insane. Look at the seasonings on him. Oh. Mm. Hey, the meat is pause, but the meat is gone. You don't need teeth. <laughs> it melts right. It melts right away on the palate. Flavor, just like this is like barbecue kind candy. Even a baby could eat it. Even a baby could eat it. My grandpa can take out his teeth. He don't need this. He, he don't need them. This is probably one of the best briskets I ever had in my life. Oh, all right. So in Philly, is there like y'all got good barbecue spots out there? We do. But, yeah. not, but not like this. Not like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, our briskets are good, but it's not like the way they do it here at Horns. I don't know. Like, it's different. Y'all can see it. You know what I mean? They got a visual appeal to it. You got the juiciness to it. The juices. I mean, I, I don't know if y'all can see it on here, but it's like, it's glistening. It's like BBS's. It's like BBS's. Look. The game changes stuff Ooh. right there. Look. Ooh. And, oh. The sauce is optional. The sauce is op Oh, you ain't even. Wait, you ain't, come on, you ain't. You Yo. gotta get the sauce. You gotta get the sauce. Y'all watching? I'm a sauce. I'm pro sauce on a lot of things. Mm. I forgot about the sauce. Come you know on. Sorry. That's how good the barbecue is. He forgot about the sauce. Mm. Damn. Ooh. Mac and cheese hit. Yeah. Oh, I thought it dropped. <laughs> oh, it did drop. Mm. Oh. It's good too. Haberdashers. <laughs> oh, creamy. It's flavorful and cheesy. Hitting all three credit uh, mac and cheese credit bro. That sauce ain't even sauce though. I don't even know what you call that, man. It's like liquid, uh, it's like liquid drip. Because remember, it's optional, so you don't need it too heavy on there. But was you rocking with it? Absolutely. Honest opinion. Honest opinion. Absolutely. It's a different type of sauce. Man. Different type of sauce? Mm -hmm. Candy? Feel like God just dropped it. it just went, here you go. Take oh, I'm this. gonna get these burnt tips. Pause. <laughs> you know, on the East Coast, I got uh, you. Y'all say pause on a damn near everything. everything. I can't say nothing. Everything. I can't even tell somebody good morning. And I'm, I'm the worst. I was worse, bro. I used really? to call my boys out for everything, man. My boys say, "Yo, we just ordered pizza. It's gonna be long." I'm like, pause. because of y'all, I can't even eat a glizzy. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, oh, no, that, that's New I York. I can't even enjoy a good dog. Yeah, good that's New glizzy. York. That's the first time I heard that was in New York. In New York. Mm -hmm. Because there's a oh, pause right around it? the corner. Woo! The burnt chips. Hell yeah. Oh, oh my God. Brisket, it's, it's meat candy. It's meat candy. This is, a, this is candy for adults. Elk, it's like a glaze. It's, like it's, like, it's like a glaze. It's like a barbecue glaze on top. Nice and sweet, sticky, and flavorful. Mm -mm -mm. That hit the bloodstream fast, too. You know what I mean? Damn, this is addicting. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't just eat. You can't just eat one of these. You gotta keep going and going and going. You gotta. When I make it, I gotta keep telling myself, no, only one. Wow. I wish I wish my peoples were here. I wish, <laughs> I wish my peoples from the East Coast can come check this out, man. Memorable moments, man. It's all good. But well, I am. Memories only only cool if you got your you know, all your peoples here. But I got, I got, I got Bay Area you, folks, though. You got you know the real ones in the house. You real. Me? Other than that, man, he's the, the sausage here is slamming too. <laughs> So I can see why lines are around the corner. You know what I mean? Like the lines are staking like this. Um, GMV lines for sure. Every girl, bro, you got GMV lines. Start from scratch line. <laughs> Martin, remember Martin? Start, yeah. Gotta go to the start from scratch line. You know what I mean? The my most, experience. The most complete barbecue place I've ever been to. Damn, that link looks good. The sausage. The cheddar link. Pause. It's pause. That cheddar. Yeah. Now we grow. We grow today, man. Okay, we grow today. All right, we ain't doing the pause. We're growing I'm, I'm out the pause territory. Sausage. I'm out the pause territory. <laughs> that was good. That was good. It, 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 it was. It was like cheese in there. Yeah. Um, um, show the people. Yeah, they got they got to get a good vi visual of that. 
get a special cheddar in it, we cut it by hand, and we get fresh jalapenos Woo! in it, we dice it by hand. You know, it's a lot of love. The barbecue, Manny Pacquiao, punching, packing with flavor. Lefts and rights. I'm a Floyd fan now. All right. I like Floyd too. I'm a Floyd fan. <laughs> Is the cornbread? I'm gonna go for the greens. Moist. Cornbread had a long, nasty conversation right before it came to the plate, coming out moist, dripping Ripping. with butter and honey. Is it honey we'll, butter? We'll make a special brown butter called like Bruno was that. Absolutely, sir. Put it with the honey, so you're getting everything out. Oh, everything it's from the habit? All right, man. Why, I'm, I'm going to eat this right in front of you. You coming with a strong testimony. I hope I it follow it's up. Good. I know it's good. I eat it all the time. Mm. It's a little bit more of a cake style of cornbread, a little bit lighter than you should be. A little bit more fluffy, a little more rich than eggs. No. But you get that honey butter. That, that honey, that. That honey, that honey butter, sensational. I'm not gonna lie, the honey butter, sensational. I wish I had a fresh piece of cornbread down. That would have been great. The honey butter and everything. Ooh, y'all, y'all doing numbers. Y'all, that shit was so good. Yeah, one of the things that makes this really great barbecue is that we get this off the track. Mm. Is that you? Gosh, the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese got layers of flavor. What? Exactly. That's, that's part of the secret. I used to set it home. That's what I could have seen if you know about it. It was about. This shit banging, bro. <laughs> this shit banging. The mac and cheese banging. Excellent. Hold on, I didn't even do the pulled pork sandwich yet, though. Hold on. That, are you saving? You were saving that. I think I am. You were saving that. I gotta do the hero shot for this. Hero Get shot. on him. Right you handle that. Mm -hmm. You handle that. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was ah. a prime real estate bite right there, my boy. I feel, I feel so blessed right now, man. Like mm. eating this food right here mm. on the West Coast, Bay Area Foods and his team. That's some good food, y'all. Man, well, if y'all ever in the Bay, you want to try some barbecue or a barbecue? They, they. They know what they're doing over here. It's one of the they best, know. one of the best barbecue spots I ever had on the channel. Right. Probably in life, man. In life, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, in life, amen. Damn, the greens though, money. The sides are actually kind of like they can be the star too, man. You know what? Normally when I go to barbecue places, mm -hmm. right? The barbecue star sides, mm, right. mediocre. Right. However, the sides here are very impressive. Very. Very impressive. The mac and cheese, like it's not, you know, I feel like I should go and play the lottery because it's not common that you get a barbecue spot with some good mac and cheese. Normally, barbecue spots, mac and cheese is ass because you only can focus on one good thing, which is the barbecue. And I like how it's a different type of mac and cheese too. I don't even think it's, I don't know, it just tastes different. You know what I mean? You do it differently. About dessert. About <laughs> yeah. Yo, Try that kilo of cornbread. <laughs> the, no. So the tell, the, tell the people who you who you are, man. Who's Barrier Foods, man? Barrier Foods. Uh, so well, I, I am, just started. I started by taking pictures of local mom and pop spots in the Bay Area. Um, before Instagram even had videos, I'm I'm primarily <laughs> on Instagram, and I was just taking pictures of like mom and pop spots. I was born in apartment buildings. In my apartment building, unfortunately, you know, we was all, it, the Bay Area is very diverse. So I had a, a, one of my best friends was Filipino. Uh, another one of my best friends uh, was uh, Ethiopian. Mm -hmm. And then the other one was Mexican. So we are very diverse. We all live in poverty. Every night we spend the night, we spend at each other's house, we have a different type of meals. You know what I'm saying? So I spent at my Filipino friend's house. We having chicken adobo. Um, uh, Nana I was making hella fish with the eyeballs in it. Uh, well, the eyeball, I, gotta eat the eyeball. <laughs> I don't eat the eyeball. I don't eat the eyeball. But I sent hella, uh, hella clothes and brown boxes to the Philippines yeah. <laughs> every year. Um, and then I spend that. We'll spend night at my, at my uh, Hispanic friend house, and we'll have, um, we'll have pupusas, 
which is a, a good, it's a, actually it was El Salvadorian, so that's a kind of El Salvadorian dish that's yeah. just really, really good. Yeah. Uh, so starting for trying different cultural backgrounds as a kid from, you know, living in poverty growing up, I started understanding different cultures that we have throughout the Bay Area, like diversity. We can get Jamaican food, uh, uh, Filipino food, Tongan food, all within the course of the Bay Area. Very diverse here. So, so you understand the struggle food too right like the appreciation of, of it that's what i that's what i see you know what I mean? the appreciation of it is is magical because each culture tell a different story through the food right. you know what i'm saying even with this barbecue with my people barbecues to come from like back when slavery times you know right. um and then transform to it's it it evolving a lot of cultural foods is authentic but also evolves in flavors like this for sure for sure and this is good <clears throat> when we're not we're in West Oakland. You explained to me earlier the difference between West Oakland and East Oakland. Can you go over that again? West Oakland is more small. So I'm from West Oakland. West Oakland is smaller. You got you got Acorn, Ghost Town, Lower Bottoms. It's three hoods, predominantly minorities, uh, mostly African Americans, such as myself. It was very small. A lot of people didn't want to come to uh, West Oakland like that because it was so small, right. and there's not really much for people to do here but get into trouble. So if you don't live here, you really don't have no business being over here. Now, fast forward, um, the Warriors being winning. The, uh, uh, when that happens, you have a lot of gentrification coming in. So a lot of people getting pushed out and some people that are still here due to like rent control, it's looking ugly. They're breaking the cars when you're driving past here. When you leave here, I guarantee you, sad to say, you're gonna see at least about two or three cars with windows busted up from carjackings. Um, and that's the environment that we grew up in. My mom was able to like raise me in that environment to stay positive. So I, every day I wake up, I can use the drugs and the shooting and the killing. I can use that as, I can use that as an excuse to follow what I'm seeing every day, or I can use that as motivation and kind of make that as, this is where I don't want to see my life, this is where I don't want to see myself, or the future of my people. So I try to use my platform to kind of show something different and not be that. <clears throat> and that's why I, I relate to you a lot too, is using, using our platform to empower us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's what I like about you too. It's like, thank you, thank you. Bro. Yeah, man. Well, just, I, I honestly, if people have been watching, I don't honestly collab with a lot of people, man. I really don't. I, I barely see you. <laughs> I, don't, I, do not. I barely ever see you collab with don't. people. Uh, it's just more of me, if anything, because I have mm -hmm. like sometimes I have a lot of anxiety, social anxiety, or I'm an introvert. So I, I, have, I, have, you did tell me yeah, I have to get my mind right just to meet people sometimes. Mm -hmm. So it takes a lot out of me. It's like I have a social battery. So it's mm -hmm. like whenever I go out, my social battery, 100%, the more I meet people, it kind of like goes down. Goes down. So that's why I need to leave. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, if, I, if I'm at an event, I gotta leave. You gotta get up out of there. I gotta get up out of there. You get overwhelming oh. sometimes. So many Super people. overwhelming. It's not nothing personal. I just, people think I'm like bougie or whatever sometimes. I'm like, nah, it's not that. I just gotta leave to protect my mental peace. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So. And mental peace is like, it's very important yeah. um, for me. I had to adapt because so many people coming up all the time. They don't care how my day going. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can be going through some like something wild, something crazy. Um, but because of the following that we have and the, you know, the the, the we're, we're role models. You know, sure. Sure. when people are coming up, I have to always stay in a positive mindset no matter what I'm going through. Because um, I only got one opportunity to to have a good impact on you. You know, first the first impression is everything. I don't know what you're going through in life. I don't know anybody else, but we all going through stuff. So. I've been trying to be, like practice on just giving a good impact no matter what, you know, with anybody, treat everybody equally. Um, and it's hard, it's hard because I'm shy as hell. I'm an introvert sometimes too, and I got these rants because of the platform. Got like random people always coming up, but it's a blessing, you know, I appreciate it. Um, but it's kind of difficult, so I, I feel you on that. It's weird, it's weird. Like when I first touched down, someone recognized me at a Walgreens. How did that feel? I'm kind of used to it now, but it's still kind of like, damn, I thought I was kind of safer in SF. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do appreciate your time, man. This is a wonderful time here. Um, oh, this is great good. food. I'm glad. I'm glad we broke bread and met each other here. Because I didn't want to like 
be at a spot where the food was terrible <laughs> and met you, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, so I'm glad the food here was great. Great conversations, Thank great you. spirit. And, Thank um, you, sir. Thank you. Again, a he's a, a star. I'm telling you right now. You're a star, man. I'm, I'm, he's I'm, a star. No, 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 no. You got the charisma. I'm a fan right now, y'all. This is. You was with Goon with the Spoon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Earl. That's right. Shout out to JNA Experience, man. My my, my Tina been holding this oh, down. Man, he's, he's, he's getting recognized. Slowly, the universe is going to move like this for you, bro. It's just going to take time. You know what I'm saying? I'm you praying, see it moving, man. Right? I'm see praying. It moving? It, it, it's moving. It's happening. I just want to make sure that, like, I want God to, to keep me humble. Yeah. And make sure I'm still helping people. Like that's what I really care about. Like the growth is great, but like what I'm doing with it is what really matters. And I want to make sure I'm touching as many people as possible and change them through food. <laughs> you got it. You there, bro? But great experience here. I wish we could have met Matt, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. But um, make sure you subscribe. subscribe we to met Matt Food. We did. <laughs> the fool spoke spoke for you, Matt. So you good. <laughs> we out of here, y'all. See you on the next one. Hey. Peace.